Okay, welcome back to more of Conquest of Sarpedia. And we're gonna be going through another little bonus dungeon in this part. Um, I don't think it's actually that long. It's, uh, this one I think is completely optional and a fairly short one. It gets one fairly handy item, especially if it's your uh, first time going through this. Again, I have yet to walk all the way back to the arena. No shortcuts of this. All you really need to complete this place, um, the mini dungeon we're going to, is the giant wall, and you'll see why. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna get trolled pretty badly if you go there right away. pick up as much money as I can, because you're going to need, a, again, a lot of money to buy this item, and actually you still need another batch of money later on. But I think there's a, still a whole bunch of money I haven't collected yet in the overworld. Okay, I'm pretty sure you don't have to be backtracking, getting back to this place multiple times. Just trying to show up as much of the, many of the overworld money secrets, because there's a lot of free money out there. A lot of it you can easily forget because you just don't remember to go back there. Oh, 
All right, so here we have Volrath's dungeon. A lot of Volrath stuff in this quest. I think we ran to a few of these. All right, this place isn't that difficult to go through. Um, actually, the more equipment you bring in, the better. Probably bare minimum would be the uh, Sword of Ages. Uh, but if you actually go through level 9 and bring in all those items, this place is actually kind of a joke. Because that takes out a lot of the... Well, at least minimizes the effect of the gimmick that you'll find in this place. Because uh, silver arrows will do very well for you, and then you know, extra armor never hurts. And a few super duck nuts in this room. Notice the formation of these blocks. Yeah, that's pretty much the map design of this place. I mean, just this one's kind of rotated. And just looking at the shape of this map, you can kind of tell what you're going to get in this place. for whatever reason. <clears throat> yeah, here's the gimmick. You're gonna lose your sword going through this place. Now, there, you can get through this without losing your sword, but I mean, uh, if this were an open room, I probably could do it. Not this type of room. I did it, look at that, oh my gosh. Yeah, so basically I'm just exploiting the candle to boost past the bubbles, because I think the candle takes priority. Yeah, you're not supposed to have your sword past this point. That's gonna make this part kind of trivial now. But again, even if you don't have your sword, you're going to note the enemies are kind of on the easier side. So here, um, because you're supposed to be using a lot of arrows. But again, I have silver arrows, so that will uh, do very well for me in this place. Makes this room easier as well, because I only need two silver arrows. Better armor just gives you more uh, wiggle room to work with. Uh, in this room, I think technically you're supposed to use bombs or your wand. Although, honestly, you could just pass this room, there's no point going through this. Him another useless key. I mean, I guess this is if you don't have the magic key, uh, you are supplied enough keys in this place. Man, these guys are good for magic refills. Uh, 
Uh, normally in this room, you... I think you're supposed to be using Bond. Uh, but again, I have the Mirror Shield, which actually already makes this room pretty trivial. So, again, if you bring all your stuff from level 9, like all the items from there, uh, even if you have no sword, it's... This place is still pretty easy. Yeah, that's just really cheap to be able to do that. You're not supposed to have your sword here, unless you use a potion for whatever reason. But again, you know, he designed this dungeon so that you don't really need to use a potion. You know, your wand should do well enough. As long as you have double magic and, uh, you know, enough magic to use the, the wand. So I'm not sure what happens when you run out of magic if you can even use your wand. I know you can't use the magic, but can you still at least swing your wand out to do damage? This is why you need the giant wallet. Because you can only hold 500 rupees with the small wallet, and look how much this thing costs. Not that I need the blue bubble, because I still have my sword. Alright, so, Lens of Truth. Yeah, that's just there to troll you. Alright, so now that we have the lens, we have nothing else to do in this place. Again, I can go right to level 9 right now. Pretty much set the go. Uh, but just a little clue, you're gonna need more money. You wanna make sure you pack up your wallet as much as possible. Because that 501 rupee gimmick, you're gonna see that again. I'll probably go explain this later, but I think there's a little bug in this quest. Get yourself perma-stuck. Uh, if you don't get all your items. I mean, as long as you pick up everything, then you're fine. You're not gonna get stuck with anything. Might as well go pick up some more money. Last bits of change. Just a little bit. 
get a smaller secret on the side here. Yeah, a lot of times I don't even need to collect half this money. I think the real money crunch was at the beginning of this quest. I mean, at this point I have so much extra cash. Alright, again, you need a super bomb to go in here. And that's a 300 rupees. I pretty much just got, got back most of the cost of that lens. still money, more money to collect, I and mean, I'm probably gonna cap out, actually. There's nothing else to buy, either. I'm capped out on bombs. I don't know, super bombs. So you just kind of flash the lens, and you can... just enough so you can see things. Uh, this one is a door repair charge. I think there's one more secret to get, I'm just gonna get it on the back end of the caverns. I'm not gonna go through that place. It's more tedious than I need, need it to be. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything left to buy. And after this, you can pretty much head on to level 9, finish off that place. Well, nice to be capped on on money. And again, you're gonna need another 501 rupees, and you'll see why. Yeah, so I almost think there's a little bug in this quest that, uh, maybe this is 2.5 limitations or something. Maybe if this quest was made in 2.10, maybe you could, uh, backtrack then. So you gotta make sure you get everything before you move on. I don't even know how many times I've gone through this place already.
and usually health isn't going to be that big an issue in this place. Get enough heart refills. Okay, so, um, making some good progress, got the Lens of Truth, got most of the money secrets that were left, and that are capped out on money, supplies, etc. I should be able to go finish off level 9 in the next part. Alright, see you guys later.